Floyd House flicks in the building. <laughs> Running around doing this Saturday, started off Saturday morning, entered into Saturday afternoon. I hope all is well. Welcome to the physical media commute number six. Number six. Season two. I'm going to try to see how long I can stick up with this season two conversation. I forget all the time. Season two, episode six. It's enough to remember. Hope all is well. All right, let's get to it. Uh, oh, still smoking this cigar. This is in an aging room, Nicaragua. Can't beat it. One of the best. All the smoke. <laughs> Yes, sir. So, um, I guess today's conversation really is about this Kino Lorber sale. Primarily, this Kino Lorber sale. Um, I just knew that I was going to go into this Kino Lorber sale and just do too much. But fortunately, I took it light. I took it very light on myself. I bought only 4Ks and I bought only the, the, the movies that I actually didn't haven't actually wanted um I, I posted on it earlier actually i posted on it last night this was the um dress to kill it's a movie i remember from when i was a kid angie dickinson i remember that um i picked up tropic thunder which just came out and it was like 29.99 something like that and I was able to get it. Salute, salute. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I was able to get it for fourteen ninety nine. I hope you people are understanding that these, the the, some of these movies are priced to sell during their sales. If that makes any sense, there's no reason why it should. It's like significantly cheaper. This movie just came out. It just came out. Floyd House, Flitz Hall and Oaks, what's going on? Good sir, good sir, good sir. Yeah, so almost feel like it's a bit of a setup. And also I went over to um, Best Buy to get two movies that they had on sale, but I didn't feel like paying the prices that they had them on sale. So I went over to Best Buy and got them from them. Had a little bit of a code and a little bit of a, little, a few of them there at Best Buy Bucks. So I wanted, what did I get from Best Buy? I got um, um, Mystery Men and something else. I don't remember, but it was on sale at Kino for like $26.58. I think that's their price, $26.58. So I ended up getting them for like, you know, a little bit less just because I had those credits and what have you. I honestly think I can say, I think I can safely say, I'm thinking that I'm good for the rest of the year. Unless something comes out of the blue, which I strongly doubt. And even if it did, it's not gonna come out until January, so I'm good there too. Like that Belly Still book, I had to make sure that I get that, that I got that out of the way because I'm, you know, of course you're afraid of things just being bought up and that, you know, remember what they did with that, um, uh, Reservoir Dogs still book had people losing their shit and then came out with it. Now you can't get away from it. It's everywhere. <laughs> still for sale. So, But I wound up buying two of those Belly Steel books. I don't know. Like I said, I just wanted to be, or rather be safe than sorry. So I got two of the Steel books, two of the Belly Steel books, and um, now I think I'm done. Uh, people walking by with food, restaurant call. A little, uh, man, this cat walking past with a tray of food. That's when I pull my car up and run and snatch a burger off his tray. <laughs> I think I'm hungry. I think I'm hungry. I'm driving around in the, west, in the area of West Los Angeles. Things have changed quite a bit. Um, cool little place called I Met Him at a Bar. That's the name of the spot. <laughs> There's so many different things. Albertson's Wedding Chapel in Los Angeles. I, have, I don't know that I've ever even seen a wedding chapel outside of Las Vegas. Come on, we're going to run to this wedding chapel real quick. 
and get this citizenship. I mean, get this uh, marriage together. Oops, sounds like a movie. But anyways, yeah. So I think I'm good in regard to uh, Sky. Sky. It's a homeless guy lay in front of a church in like a like a porno pose. <laughs> I, I'm not laughing at him. I'm just laughing at the fact that he's laying in front of the church in, in a porno pose in his drawers. Things happen. Things things happen. And um, we understand that this is part of uh, life in some places. But okay, enough of that. Let's get back to the movies. Uh-oh. So, I still haven't opened up that reservoir dog that's sitting on my counter. I was going to open it and put up one of these windows so I'm not all blown up by the air. Yeah. I still have to watch it. Um, I haven't really heard anybody talk about it, talk about it. Just in terms of quality. I'm sure it's great. I'm sure it's on fire. Hey, it's Starbucks. Let's go to Starbucks, y'all. Physical media, commute, and coffee. I think that will satiate my appetite. Just a little coffee. Nothing like a midday glass, a uh, cup of joe. Midday cup of joe. If I can get over here. Um... I have to start loading up my Christmas list. Usually, the family and I, we do an Amazon Christmas list. And everyone just shops for people from their Christmas list. I think it makes life easier. You could use a Nitro Pinkies Up. Pinkies Up. You know, I do what I can. <laughs> So load up the Amazon Christmas list, but oddly enough, and I keep running into this, there's not a lot of things that I really, really want movie-wise at this point. It's not ridiculous. I was looking at the, um, I recently started buying the um, the Ipman, uh, Dan, Danny, Danny, um, oh, striking it, growing a blank on his last name, Danny Yo. Am I saying his name right? What's the guy that, that the Ipmon character, well, the, char the actor that plays Ipmon, Danny Yen, Donnie Yen, Donnie Yen. Um, I've been buying those 4Ks because they just got released. Yes, thank you, Movie Hunter, Donnie Yen. And I had the, um, the Steelbook Trilogy, the Blu-ray Steelbook Trilogy, and... Um, I figured why not just take the Steelbook Trilogy, take the Blu-rays out and put the 4Ks in. So that's what I did. And of course, there is a Ipmon 4, but it wasn't one of the better ones. So I have it, but I only have it in Blu-ray. Now, I remember when the 4K Ipmon collection came out. It was all four movies in this weird little box. I mean, it wasn't a bad set. I just didn't think that I needed it in 4K. So I missed out on it. I didn't buy it. It was like $54. 50, 50 is in the mid 50s. Yeah, right? I mean, it just made sense for them to put it out in singles. But when I looked for it the other day, of course, Best Buy doesn't have it anymore. And I saw it on Amazon for $240. And whose world? No, 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 no. Groove just had them all. I think there were fourteen dollars each. Fourteen nine fifteen nine fifteen fourteen ninety-nine each. Uh no. So I did it and I took those and put them inside the still book. I don't I, I love doing stuff like that. I took my I when I, I got um last train uh, the train was it I hate I hate when I feel like I'm talking a thousand miles a minute and I'm not my recall is off. Uh, Train to Busan. I bought that came out on 4K, which I'm sure a lot of people got. It was a great movie. 
and I had the Steelbook Blu-ray, so I took out the 4K and put it in the Steelbook. I wish that it was a Blu-ray steel, Blu-ray 4K Steelbook, but it isn't. But realistically speaking, when we get a Blu-ray steel, 4K Steelbook or 4K Blu-ray anything, we don't touch the Blu-ray. So I just put the Blu-ray in a separate box. And whatever. Um, just got the something else I didn't have the Tomb Raider the two Tomb Raider movies on 4k I didn't have those um, there was a bit of a, a mishap on one of them but that's okay I already pre-ordered uh, ordered the other one to replace it so take the steel books the blu-ray the 4k's rather and put them in the steel books and there's you know that um, I don't have a problem doing that type of stuff there's a lot of people that you know it's got to be whatever authentic like that's not the set it, it's fine you can always buy the hubs I can't put the hubs in that because of the um, wait a minute no you can't how can you do that because that means you have to take the spine off and replace the spine and I'm not doing all that that's quite often what happens is the furthest I'll go is to put artwork inside of the still book because that's what I had to do with the um, Tomb Raider still books because you know when they were releasing certain still books all they had was like that firework background you know back no cup no interior art so I'll pop the pop the cut the, the steel covers off and then do that but you can't take the hubs uh, re, re, restructure the hubs without taking off the spine and I'm not messing up the spine they sell hubs that stick in Really? Mm, that's interesting. That's interesting. Can you send me that? A, a link of something like that? Send it to my IG, please. That's a that's definitely an option. I never I've never seen that. You, you see, you learn something new every day. There's always something to learn every day. <laughs> so then there's that. Watch Huck's video today. He has a vid with a tutorial. I tell you, we have a wealth of information around us when it comes to uh, this Blu-ray stuff and this 4K collection stuff. Because I did not know that that was a possibility. I just thought that, you know, hey, whatever. You got to reach out to Huck. Huck apparently has the plug and Huck lives I think he lives not far from me so maybe I can you know we can link up Floyd House Flicks and the Huckster <laughs> you know why not um, I'll look into that so but I do that all the time I mean that's a that's an interesting take on that um, on that swap Is there anything that you guys are looking forward to getting? You guys got anything on your Christmas list? If you celebrate Christmas at all, or your holiday list that you look forward to maybe getting as a gift? Because I know I'm, I'm going to try my best. There's, the only, there's only one, well, there's only one thing that I'm jonesing after. And I, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get it because I would never put it on my Christmas list. It's too expensive. It's too expensive. I wouldn't do that. And that's that Rambo box set. Because that is amazing. I don't want the Jurassic Park set because I wasn't, you know, it's not necessary. Um, what else? The other box sets pretty much I already have. Um, hmm. Yeah, so it's like I'm looking for something that's going to be interesting and. Uh, Maybe something that I, I know. One thing I did put on my list is that uh, Creed, Creed 2 steelbook. I like that. That zombie Creed, Creed 2 steelbook. I think that was pretty neat. Um, I can't think of too much more. I can't think of too much more. I'm trying to keep 
I'm trying to be reasonable. You always want to be reasonable. You don't want to be unreasonable when it comes to this stuff. Even though the family supports me and all of this stuff, you know, it's, eh. and I have everything that I've seen that I wanted. So it's one of those things. It's like you know, people ask people about this Black Friday stuff. It's like, um, you kind of make, you know, you you buy everything and you miss out on everything. So I do the best that I can. I want them to suck back like Hold on a second, guys. Can I get a uh, ice vanilla latte, sugar-free vanilla? Can I have my uh, Make it a venti. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Do you have the um, ham and cheese, ham and cheese croissant? I do. One. One. Thank you. That's it. Thanks. Oh, See, that was easy. I was going to get a hot coffee, but it's starting to warm up. And I got a taste for the cool coffee. I so, ham and cheese croissant. Their ham and cheese croissant is good. He has links. Movie Hunter says he has links on there too. Good. Good. Because I definitely want to get. I'm going to start utilizing more options in terms of not having to buy. I've never seen removable hubs. Yeah, their chocolate croissant is just mad sweet. <laughs> I'm not looking for all that sugar. You know, if you heard it, it's like sugar-free vanilla in my vanilla latte. I'm trying to take it easy on the sugars. I'm trying. I am trying. So, I guess ultimately, I'm going to, now that I've gotten my collection kind of closer to where I want it to be and a lot of the things that I wanted to fill in, I got filled in. Um, one thing I'm fighting, I wouldn't say fighting myself on, but that Matrix, that Zavi Matrix box set with all four movies in it, it's kind of like the, the, the Ipman trilogy. It's like, the trilogy is fine. I have the trilogy box set of The Matrix. The one with the cat, the steel book. But I don't, I didn't, I did not like that fourth movie. So it's like, why am I going to spend all that money or even have anyone spend that money on it? It would exclusively, exclusively be for presentation purposes and that's it because, hmm, eh. What about two and three? Do you like those? Uh, two and three of what, Holland? Of the Matrix? Um, honestly, they're okay. They're okay, in my opinion. From what I've heard about the creation of that whole Matrix franchise is that the Wachowskis stole that from this woman. They stole the concept from this woman and ran with it. And that's why the first movie was so different and so electric. It was so, you know, I would use the term avant-garde, which is not something that I would say a lot, but it was quite avant-garde for the time. And then two was blah, and three was even more blah. So, blah. You know, how, how, does, um, how does Morpheus go from being this man's man in, in part one to gradually degrading to like a, a, a pointless character. I didn't quite, in my opinion. Hold on one second. Sorry guys. <laughs> I think, forgot I had to use my, my scanner. To scan my goods on the phone. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. I'm ready now, though. We are in the books for our coffee. So, yeah. Um, yeah. I, in my opinion, the the two Starbucks, uh, two Starbucks, the two Matrix movies past, like Matrix 2 and Matrix 3, were just okay to me. And Matrix 4 was garbage. Garbage. Complete trash. Some people liked it. 
Some people like it, liked it. That was one of those, that's one of those things. You know, like when people say, what's a movie that a lot of people hated, but you actually liked, like uh, like KB when he does his, his conversation questions? Matrix 4 is hard pressed for people to say, I really like that movie. I thought it was just that the other thing. I, I don't think that I've ever heard anyone say that they like that movie. But it's not to say it's not for people to, to, to like. I mean, who am I to say? Just my opinion. It's like all these other things are just opinions. We don't, you don't have a, a market on what people have to like. That's just how it works. I can't wait to do KB show. I wish he would hurry up and ask me to do it because I want to do it. You know why I want to do it? Because some of the things that I have, some of the conversations that I have, I think are kind of would might might be deep cuts. In my opinion, in my opinion, I think that um, KB's handling of those questions, I think he's um, he's carved himself a, a very nice niche oh, but in the conversation portion of social, of physical media. It opens up a lot of room for people's, you know, takes on not just cinema, but on physical media as a whole, you know, some people like to stream, some people like to collect. Is there ever a conversation of what's going to happen to your collection when you die? That's a serious conversation. When you move on to the upper room, as Eddie likes to say, the upper room. When people pass away, what are they, do they have expectations of their collection or their family regarding their collection? I'm not particularly worried about it because I know that at the end of the day, they can always sell it. And there's a decent amount of something, you know, they can get some money back for that. So I know it's dark. I know it's a dark conversation, but still, it's a conversation nonetheless. You know, you want your kids to inherit your collection. What if they don't want it? That's this, that's your, that's your problem. But you gone. So if they don't want it, they do what they're gonna do with it. But I got a pretty good a good collection. Some of which I don't even watch. You know, and that's that's when you notice things become a collection because you're not even really utilizing it like you would. You're just collecting, showing your collection. That's all I'm doing is showing my collection. People come to the house and there's always the wow factor when we have guests. And the silly thing that they always say was, wow, you guys really like movies. I said, what made you say that? <laughs> is it the hundreds of movies in the, on the wall? Whatever it is, it's... It's definitely something that I enjoy doing, and sometimes the family is right along with me in the enjoyment of it, because they'll give me ideas or they'll give me suggestions in terms of just just buying movies. But I think that uh, I think it's gonna be all right. I think it's gonna be all right. I'm gonna enjoy it while I'm here and enjoy it. Enjoy your shit while you're here. Don't worry about nothing. Just enjoy your life and do what you do. As, as we've seen over these past few years, life is short. And if you get wrapped up in silly stuff, then you're just wasting time. Don't waste your time on stuff that's not important. Family and life is meant to be enjoyed. So make sure that you do that every single day. And with that, I'm going to wrap this up. Floyd House Flicks Physical Media Commute Season 2 Number 6 You already know what it is I will see you guys tomorrow Blacks and Cinema Sunday Blacks and Cinema Sunday Don't forget We'll be coming on at around 1 o'clock And please be there to enjoy with us And have a conversation Just again When I do Blacks and Cinema Sunday I do these things Because I am looking For conversations In and around Cinema 
especially in that particular conversation, is in and around cinema that is considered to be black cinema and hear what your take is. You don't have to be black to have a conversation about black cinema. Please don't get there. Please enjoy all that is out there and let's have a conversation. Maybe there's things about black movies that you don't understand that I'm open for the conversation about. Don't be afraid. People are very weird about having conversations that make them, or for whatever reason, makes them uncomfortable. If you're the type of person that is just genuinely curious about life and have questions about life, ask questions. Ask questions. They say the only dumb questions there are are the questions unasked. You know, as long as you're not being a jerk. Because you got plenty of those out there, but I haven't seen too many of them. Uh, in the physical media area, just more or less people who don't know how to have certain conversations. So please, Black and Cinema Sunday tomorrow, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Come in, ask questions. What movie am I showing? I don't know. You know I never know. And I don't know until I know. And then when I know, you'll know. You'll be the first. So thanks, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. Physical Media Commute number six, ever season two. Blah, 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 blah. And I will see y'all tomorrow. Salute. Enjoy life. Be well. Peace. Florida, please.